I really, really, really liked How to Train Your Dragon. I liked the energetic and relatable characters. I liked the huge, sprawling environments that were needed for dragon flights and fights. I liked the varied musical score composed by John Powell. I liked that the movie had a sense of pacing with climbing peaks of action followed by silent troughs of reflective character moments. I liked that the main character, Hiccup, and the movie as a whole had a dynamic character arc that took place over a long period of time. And I especially liked that the movie never shied away from the physical dangers of great heights and combat. In fact, the only thing I can really criticize are a few lines of dialogue that were obviously meant to be dramatic, but were out of place with the rest of the movie and ultimately just fell flat. For example, telling but never showing that you can betray the Viking clan by siding with the dragons, even though riding on dragons is considered a historical precedent. Now, even with a company like DreamWorks, who has a history of making fun hits and even better sequels, you could be forgiven if you expected the follow-up to this movie to be just good enough. Fortunately, you would also be dead wrong. Not only is How to Train Your Dragon 2 just as good as its previous installment, it's also greatly amplified in almost every aspect. The graphics are far more detailed, the flight and fight scenes are epic and fun, the situations are very dangerous, with deep consequences, and the character dynamics are more layered and entertaining than before. I mean, how many other animated features actually have sequels where the main characters are remade to be physically older? Now even though the trailers have revealed some elements of the story, they fortunately don't reveal the heart of the story, which will not be revealed here either. With that said, let's talk about the things I didn't like. After all, what's a review without some negativity? The only but biggest problem is that the movie carries over the original's flaw of having lines of dialogue that simply fall flat. There are entire lines that not only make no sense in relation to the sequel, but also make no sense in relation to the original movie or the context of the movie universe. Universe. Maybe the creators know the context, but that needs to be shown to the audience. Which actually brings me to the irrelevant coming out of the closet line. If you haven't already heard, there is actually a coming out of the closet moment where one of the standing characters hints that he is gay. The moment was actually an ad lib during a recording, and it goes by so fast that if you're not looking for it, you might not notice it. As a Christian, this is where I would normally denounce the homomania of Hollywood, which dictates that all media will have homosexuality portrayed either positive or normative, but I can't help but wonder if the gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender community is okay with their quote-unquote lifestyle being made to a point of irrelevancy on an animated feature, especially when it's easy to make it a joke. I was originally going to rail this moment as child-targeting propaganda, however it's never mentioned again, and it only serves to explain a detail about a character that no one asked about. What's even more perplexing is that the coming out moment is soon followed by a scene that basically celebrates the compatibilism of the genders, aka traditional marriage. So the movie temporarily normalizes homosexuality, only to dilute and negate it soon after, for no other reason than just to have it in there. Because apparently a movie about dragon riding vikings isn't cool enough without some sort of anti-Christian PC nonsense in it. But enough of this parental warning talk, we're here to see the continuing epic adventures of Hiccup the Dragon Trainer. Despite its dialogue flaws, How to Train Your Dragon 2 just left me in awe, with its incredible action, ever-growing characters, and moments of sobering depth. And in light of a third installment to be made for a How to Train Your Dragon trilogy, I'm just left wondering, how on earth are the creators going to top this next time? If you liked this review, please leave a suggestion in the comments of what I should review next. Don't forget to like or dislike this video, add to your favorites, or share it if you really liked it, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos. Until then, take care and Godspeed.